Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can a bash script handle a SIGINT signal when run from a C program using the system call? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has a bash script that waits for three minutes before signaling a daemon. However, when this script is executed from a C program using the system function, it fails to exit upon receiving a SIGINT signal. This is a frustrating problem that can disrupt the intended functionality of the script. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. Let's address the issue of your bash script not receiving the SIGINT signal when executed via the system call in C. First, we need to understand how signals work in different contexts. In your bash script, you have set up a trap for SIGINT to exit the script. However, when running the script from a C program using system, the signal handling may not behave as expected. The key issue is that the system call creates a new shell process. This new shell does not inherit the signal handling from your original shell. To fix this, we can modify the way we invoke the script. You can change your C code to use a subshell that includes the trap command. This way, the signal handling will work as intended. By wrapping your command in parentheses, you create a subshell that can handle the SIGINT signal correctly. This should resolve the issue of your script not exiting as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When running a bash script using system calls, the process name is actually bash, not your script name. This can affect how signals like SIGINT are received. When you start the script from a terminal, it shows as a foreground process, but when started via system calls, it appears as a background process, which doesn't handle SIGINT properly. Instead of SIGINT, you can use SIGUSAR1 to signal your script. This can be done with a simple kill command. Here's a working test example for Ubuntu and Mac OS. The script checks if it's already running and handles signals appropriately. For testing, you can loop the CMON binary to ensure different processes are spawned within a timeout window. For more details and a demo, Check the provided links for a complete unit test and visual demonstration. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.